Good morning. So sometimes you wake up with a lot of anxiety, especially if you're somebody who's really highly uh, psychic or spiritual and you can interpret a lot of information from the unconscious. You'll wake up at times and you have this unexplainable like fear or anxiety or like heaviness, panic that you just don't want to do anything with. Okay, because you're you're just feeling it so overwhelmed. So one of the things that I really like to do when I wake up like this, which I did this morning, is I like to stop. I like to sit in a quiet position. So sit with me now. Even if you're not feeling anxiety today or fear, there's always going to be a little bit of something in there that you can always like pull out just to better understand. Because a lot of times we work with ourselves and we completely shift all these negative energies that no longer serve us and new ones develop with our experience. So it's never bad to actually come back to yourself and analyze, am I still carrying fear even though I got rid of all the fear that I had a year ago? Because new situations do develop and they do get embedded in our energy system. Now this isn't really about healing. This is about reclaiming your energy. So sometimes when we are feeling anxiety is because we're thinking too much into the future or too much into the past. Other times when we feel anxiety or fear of some negativity, it's because we are not in alignment with the present moment. We are, we're fearing the unknown, which there is no unknown there. Everything is known. It's just your consciousness has forgotten that. Okay. So I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to put yourself in this meditative position. Relax your mind. And if you're feeling anxiety, fear, whatever negative emotion you're feeling, I want you to just sit there and be in its presence. Don't run away from it. Don't push it away. Don't try to analyze it. Just simply sit in the vibration. When you sit in the vibration, what you're choosing to do is shadow work, okay? A lot of times people think that shadow work has to do with like diving into your subconscious and pulling out information. Shadow work can easily be recognizing that there's a vibration that does not make you feel empowered. And instead of running from it, you're gonna confront it, you're gonna face it, you're gonna sit in its vibration and you're going to depower it. So I want you to take a deep breath. and ask, why is this vibration here? You'll get an answer or an interpretation of some sort. Why is this vibration here? This next, uh, next technique is called the Sword of Kali. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to imagine that there's a sword in your hand, any hand, left or right. And that sword has like a little bit of a hook look to it. And the sword with a hook. This sword can cut through any cord any negative energy, any shadow that wishes to keep itself hidden. We are not going to demonize the shadow. We're not gonna blame the shadow. We're not gonna say, oh, the shadow's causing me anxiety. No, the anxiety is coming because you do not know yourself. You do not understand something inside of yourself that has to come out for you to be able to be balanced again. Sitting here in this position, taking a deep breath. And then I want you to take your hand and I want you to take your middle finger and your thumb and you're gonna put them together on both hands, okay? Gonna do this right here. You're gonna hold them on the sides of your legs. 
This is going to allow you to tap into your emotional center to better understand the emotion that's there. And with the Sword of Kali, I want the Sword of Kali to show you, are there cords? Is this anxiety coming from a person? Is this anxiety coming from yourself? Take a deep breath. Remember that breathing is going to be your best friend while we're doing this. I want you to follow that anxiety, the one that you're sitting in. Feel it where it belongs in your body, where it's going in your body, where it's being stored in your body. And as you connect with those energies, use the sword to cut out any entities, any cords. Let go of your mind while you do this. And with the ruthless power the divine, wrathful compassion of Kali. No hatred, no victimization. I want you to cut these cords, these entities. Show them no mercy. No mercy for your environment. You are an ecosystem. You are an environment. If there is anxiety in your environment, it is because there is disharmony within your ecosystem, within your internal consciousness. Sit here, take another deep breath. Continue to cut away whatever it is that's there, knowing that once it's cut away, it cannot come back. If you find it difficult to continue to do this, I want you to start repeating the name Kali in your mind for the next few minutes as you cut these cords. Kali, 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 Kali. Kali. And as you pronounce her name, invite her into your reality. Ask her for your help. Kali, Kali, Kali. And pay attention to the thoughts that are coming up. The thoughts that are coming up, the things that are surfacing, is Kali letting you know what's there and what needs to be done. Deep breath. If your body starts swaying, that's normal. And you can stay here for as long as you want, just allowing Kali's energy to cleanse the anxiety. If you were doing this correctly, in just about 10 minutes or less, you're gonna feel the anxiety or whatever leave your system. You may be fully still aware of it, kind of like in your auric field, but it's no longer trapped within the body, making you react from that space. 
as long as you keep practicing this energy flow on a daily basis, especially when the anxiety comes back in or when you're, you know, you're, you're kind of having thoughts because sometimes you don't have the feeling come back in, but you start having thoughts like, oh my God, I've been making like a really good abundance lately. What if it stops? And you're not feeling that emotion of like, oh my God, what if it, what if it stops? You're just having the thought. So even when those thoughts come in before the emotion strikes, you want to sit down and you want to do this. You want to summon the power of Kali and her sword and cut away these cords and these energies. If on the first try you can't get this, just keep practicing. I'll see you in our next episode.